This is the tragedy of the mystical gem. What you're about to witness is quite possibly the most luckiest drop you will ever see. 100 luck. He's just casted Power Sacrifice on himself. Find out if the rogue's still here or not. Looks like we're good. Okay, resourcefulness, memory add, magical healing, two all attributes, that's really big. I will lose two magical healing for that. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we well, can lose two magical healing for that. Oh, he has three magical healing on the book. Easy switch. And now comes the task of then trying to decide what I'm going to drop. Because I don't really like taking... Oh my god. Oh my god, this is the luckiest fucking troll ever. A troll's pelt and a mystical gem. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. <laughs> we have 100 luck. <laughs> we need to get out, man. Problem is that that portals haven't really spawned yet. So. Bro, what is this run? I rolled a thousand luck. The UI just can't display it. Absolutely shell-shocked by the amount of luck I've already had on this run. I summon Hydra over and over, hoping that if there is a rogue hiding in the shadows, the Hydra will shoot at it and stop my ambush. Yeah, Hydra shoots in biz. Pretty safe way to, to rogue check. The pelt can sell for a key right now. The uh, mystical gem is about 1250. Basically, we hit, hit probably the highest amount of gold we can get from a single troll without the other... Drops being best in slot. This play is this way for sure. Dude, if I had more time, then I could actually go do the mystical gem right now. Alright, let's get out of here, man. Holy shit, man. Holy f I couldn't believe it. Not only had I got possibly the rarest drops from a cave troll, but it also escaped with the loot as well. But let's not forget what the title of this video is. First, let's find out how much it's all worth. And to think we had that uh, player come and contest us at it, remember? Whew. Mystical gem. Check. Pelt. Check. And then a bunch of sh <laughs> Check. All right, let's buy some pelts. Let's make our fourth bag. <laughs> let's see how much pelts they're selling for right now there. Troll, one key, 200G. This guy wants a gold key. This guy wants a gold key. I have no use for gold keys. We did it. Nice. Leather Smith. Whew, look at them big boys sitting on top of stash. And with another coin bag crafted, I hid my game from my stream. I amped myself up placing that mystical gem into my pocket and I surprised my stream with a mystical gem run. Guys, welcome back to another attempt at the mystical gem on high roller goblin caves. Even my chat doesn't know this is happening. I hit it from them. I'm pretty nervous, as you can imagine. Last time I did a mystical gem run on YouTube, I absolutely screwed it up. I didn't know about the 5x, 5x grid. We got a great spawn. I didn't know about the 5x, 5x grid that you needed to make it valuable. I wasted so much time. But this time it's going to be different. Now, two players know that I have the mystical gem on me. A ranger and a fighter. So obviously that's not good. But we're just going to have to live with it. I've also got my luck potion, so we'll pop that now and see what kind of luck we can get. 50. Unlucky. 
a warlock there. Let's jump down and see what happens. We might be fine. I'm pretty nervous, guys, as you can imagine. The mystical gem is worth a lot of money. So to bring it in to a, a solo run where you've only got yourself to protect you, it's pretty ballsy, I feel. But I want to try and get good value from it. Plus, there's this new chest that you can get, which holds 5,000 gold. So the idea of having a 5,000 gold chest is pretty sick to me. Obviously, it's pretty rare. But we've got a great zone. We also have Summon Hydra. Which means we can self-heal inside the home. And we also have Troll's blood as well. So. Let's go for it. Let's open it up. Alright, so. First and foremost, we've got a round shield. And a ceremonial dagger. Now, Warlock's resourcefulness is really rubbish. Base kit. I do have some plus twos on my gear though. Which will hopefully help with this. So, plus six ores here. Across the board. Some action speed on my uh, cloak. So I'm hoping this makes this uh, this process a little bit smoother for me. All right. Goods can go here. And then bads can go here. That's the, the secret, isn't it? Two piles for goods and bads. And then that way you have the max loot per search possible. I didn't bring any lock picks for the marvelous chest. I kind of regret that a little bit, but really this thing here is the, the reason you get a mystical gem. So hopefully that won't come back to haunt us too much. Okay. Bad. All oh, these are great. I can just drop them on the floor here. Perfect. Zone has uh, closed and the second zone is inside the treasure hoard. Amazing. We won't actually have to stress too much now because uh, we got two zones in a row. Can you get treasure chests from this loot pile? You can. And you can only search it three times. So what's this? Search three? If I remember, I'm counting correctly. No. Oh. Fuck, did, did I, if I cancel like that, do I not get it? That's probably a mistake, isn't it? I probably just canceled and, and I, I lost a search. Oh, well, that won't matter. Oh, it doesn't lose a search? All right, so this is search. Search for actually then. Uh, let's make a maybe pile. That we can come to later. Oh, I didn't even notice that this pile was getting smaller. That's interesting, chat. Thank you for letting me know. First portal just spawned above us. That's amazing, RNG. So we might have a sick uh, escape available to us immediately. Not that great. That goes in the maybe pile. Okay. So far, this is going really well. And the next zone is going to start closing on us soon. But we all have Summon Hydra to heal for that, as well as Troll's Blood. So I'm hoping it won't matter. I have to say, though, this is the most nerve-wracking thing that I've done. If you've ever come by my stream, you probably know that I, I kill the cave troll a bunch, and that's the thing I enjoy doing. I don't really enjoy the high risk that comes with uh, with using an item like a mystical gem. It just drives me insane knowing that I could just absolutely get wiped out by a player at any point. But now that the zone's closing like this, I feel like we've just become a lot safer. We know there's a portal somewhere in the module that we're in. So this this uh, mystical gem run has just become relatively risk-free. Well, I say risk-free. It's becoming m more and more risk-free as it goes on. All right, so that can go in the maybe pile. And these are all great. All right, back again we go. I'm hoping that we can get that really lucky chest, but... With a 50 luck, it's just not going to happen, is it? I reckon those sell a uh, crazy amount, though. They sell probably for, like, 25,000 gold or something. Maybe even more. To hold 5,000 gold. Unreal. All right, wizard hat with one weapon damage. That's definitely a maybe. Oh, we got our first legendary uh, treasure. Chandelier. Okay. And now we've got the zone closing for us. Why don't you just right-click to drop stuff? It's not as cinematic as dragging it off when you're uh, you're doing a, a gold chest pile, I feel. Kind of like the cinematic aspect of it. So I'm thinking we probably will try and not Trolls Blood here. We'll probably just try and cast a Summon Hydra to heal ourselves back up. So let's do that now. Okay. Uh, Babuta Helmet. Oops, I'm putting some greens in there by mistake. I think the Barbuta helmet can go in the maybe pile for now. All right, here we go. This is so much easier to do now that we have the Summer Hydra to keep us nice and healthy. I think this is probably the last search as well. So we're getting to the end now. And uh, 
honestly, with the current meta as it is, as Anonymous is just saying in chat, yeah, it's gone. Sellables are definitely going to be more useful than anything else. So definitely going to get rid of that. Get rid of that. And we can keep these for now. So let's pick everything up. All right, so we're going to have to drop some stuff. We're going to have to drop some blue and greens. Are there any greens? Go. Okay. Someone's just taking the portal above me, so that's a bit annoying. Blue, blue, blue. All right, I think that's fine. Let's get out of here. Drop bandages and pots? Oh yeah, you're true. That's true. I could actually. It's worth nothing to me right now, is it? Great point. Alright. Cool. Let's get out of here for reals this time. With my pockets now full with thousands of gold in collectible lootable items, all I would have to do is find that portal and escape. Portal just spawned. Oh my god. But he's been waiting for me. All right, last portal is going to be through this door here. So let's make sure we're uh, getting ready for it. I spawned downstairs. How do I get downstairs from here? I have to go through here. No! It spawned upstairs! Oh, no. What a shame. GG's. Well, it wasn't meant to be, chat. The portal was bad. What a shame! The mystical jam goes to rip. So does our great kit. And we, we lose. All for all the ranger, I feel. Who was camping us out. Made us uh, panic there. Oh, unlucky man. GG's! I feel like it's uh, still worth seeing the mystical gem and all the stuff you could get. But holy crap, that's the worst case scenario is that you end up in that, that circle with the, the multi-stories. GG, bro. Unlucky. Rest in pieces. <laughs> so, the darkness consumed everything. It consumed my kit. It consumed my mystical gem. And it consumed thousands in loose collectible loot. And I thought I would share with you this strategy of the mystical gem from the luckiest moment in my dark and darker career getting a troll pelt uh, which is two percent drop and a mystical gem which is like a one percent or less drop in the same cave troll to the moment that we lost everything and as i sit here and i edit the video and maybe you've already seen it there was a puddle the entire time i just was so panicked that i did not see it in the darkness i i guess i assumed it was a cobalt ore because that room has those and i just didn't see it and i panicked and i could have been out scots free so i hope you guys enjoyed this this journey uh, if you made it this far then i hope i've earned your subscription and maybe a like for my sorrow uh, a thumbs up so i don't cry myself to bed at night <laughs> come join me on my stream where i uh, hunt troll pelts constantly um, and let me know if you've had a similar story in Dark and Darker. Catch you on the next one.